everybody, Alex from seemsgoodmagic.com here. We're back and we're doing a best of three Crimson Bow draft. Rare, another dual land. I don't think we want that. I love the Thirst for Discovery. It's some good card advantage, but we also have a braid, but probably the Bleed Dry is the pick. One more mana, one more colored mana. Two more mana than a braid, sorry, but uh, deals with everything, which is pretty excellent. So I think we take it. It is four whole mana, but there's not a lot of deal with everything removal in this format I've found at instant speed, especially, and exiling. Once again, very important. Let's just take it over thirst and a braid. I'm okay with that. I think those are the other two front runners. This is an interesting card. I kind of like it. Put plus one, plus some counters on things. Eventually transform it into a very relevant creature. I like it. Uh, piercing light. Playable removal, especially against the aggro vampire deck, but all right. What is the follow-up pick? Well, Art School is pretty excellent. I like this. Uh, but we might take the Gift of Fangs, although, once again, up against those vampire decks, it's a little bit of a... <laughs> sometimes not good enough, but against non-vampire decks... Or even, you know, the Vampire decks still occasionally run some things that you can kill, so it's probably just worth it to take it. Fierce Retribution, some, actually some removal I like quite a bit. But I say we take the on-color one-drop removal, probably makes sense. Arch School might just be, end up being good enough. I mean, that is good. But I still feel like removal is pretty important. Some other good cards in here, too. The Lancer, the Drake... But, and uh, the Geist, but let's just take the Gift. Take the, let's, let's not, uh, what is it? Look at Gift Horse in the mouth. All right, there's Mind Leech Ghoul here, but I could see taking the Abrade too. Keep the cheap removal coming. I do like this Screaming Swarm. It's a cool card. And I like Weaver of Blossoms as well. But let's just take a braid. be happy enough about it. Pretty efficient removal. Not much else to say. Blows up artifacts occasionally. All right. So now we have Innocent Traveler, which I think we just take. You're either getting a 3-3 or a 5-3 flyer, or they're sacking a creature each turn. I think that's pretty good. Undying Malice is good with uh, Exploit. And I love my Spore Crawler, but we'll take the Traveler. All right, so Grizzly Ritual is removal, although it is kind of expensive. I kind of like the Rotide Gargantua more. Black has all of the, you know, Doom Dissenter, Persistent Specimen, Common, Sack Fodder, so I think Gargantua gets a lot better there. But uh, I like it. It's also a Repository Scab in here, Fearful Villagers playable, but no, I think it, it feels like Gargantua here is just fine. Hmm. This one feels like a bit of a miss. I don't really like Vampire's Kiss. That's more for hyper aggro. Aim for the Head is a fine sideboard card. I guess we could take that. I like the Sanguine Statue. I mean, if we're in red, black, we're in Vampires, and we want to do Blood Tokens, I guess, but... And yeah, it's whatever you say. Eh, it could be good enough. Aim for the Head, more of a sideboard card, like I said. Although, as you can take Belligerent Guess, which we already know is pretty mediocre. Maybe we'll just take the Statuette. Actually, I do like that Scab. You know what? I'll take the Scab, just in case we end up blue. Because we have some incentive to be blue already, I think, don't we? Maybe not. Well, we have some Exploit, I guess, but whatever. So, Scarta's Imprisonment. It's not removal I love. Recluse is going to be good if we end up with some uh, tokens. Blood tokens. Chill of the Grave is usually pretty good, and that's some incentive to be zombies. But I don't know if we're blue yet, so I might take the Recluse. Because Recluse is playable whether we're blue or black. It's certainly better if we end up red. 
for the vampire synergies, but whatever. Um, all right, I'm fine taking another Gargantua here. I mean, we know we're black. This much I'm sure about. Wow, we, wait a second. Pick nine thirst for discovery? Okay. So we are supposed to be blue. Got it. <laughs> or there's reckless impulse, which would let us play the abrade. That's tr that's true too. Thirst is definitely better than reckless impulse though. All right. Oh, there's fearful villager now in red, which is good. Monstrosity seems playable. Uh, do we have ways to exile? How do we get? Do we have anything that lets us exile? Oh, there you go. Scab. Okay, we'll take it. Possible finisher. Heron of Hope is the best card here. I guess we'll take it. I doubt we're going to end up white, though. I think we're probably blue-black. Hmm. Third to last, like, uh, Binding Guys is actually a pretty nice pickup. Seeing as it has multi-use, attacks well, uh, blocks well, and you get a secondary ability out of it. Pretty good card in general. Eh, Fear of Death, I suppose, is playable, but uh, I don't really want it. I guess we can. It has some Skywarp uh, Scab synergy. All right, Winged Portent, not a card I really like. Probably just take another bleed dry, keep the removal chain coming here. Bloody Betrayal, you know how I feel about that. I'd be willing to splash Bloody Betrayal if we end up with all the exploit synergies. But we're taking bleed dry, getting some hard removal. Never looking back. Maybe we'll get the foreboding statue back. We'll see about that. Bloodseeker's pretty good. Socialite and Mind Leech Ghoul in here too. Exploit synergies, but no, Bloodseeker is pretty sweet. Do we have a way to gain life? Not really. Huh. I mean, the ability is pretty slick on that. But are we even going to be able to get blood tokens? I don't know. Otherwise, we could take Cruel Witness. We have a lot of removal. Gives us another four drop, though. But, I mean, it turns all of your... It's pretty cool. It turns all your removal into, and your draw card, all that non-creature spells into more value. And it's a flyer. Bloodseeker just gives us a cheap, because we're not doing much early. I think that's my concern. All right, I'm going to take the Bloodseeker. I don't know if it's right. It could end up being right if we get the right tools to, to help it here. So we might take Chill the Grave because we already have three zombies. I love bloody betrayal decks, but... And like I said, we're in the right colors for it. But I might just take the Chill. Just scattered thoughts too, but Chill's a little more useful, I think. Well, Wedding Security is cool, but... Not really what I'm looking for. Maybe take the Doom to center. I like Desperate Farmer too. How much exploit do we have currently? I guess we don't have that much, do we? We have two Gargantuas. Ah, whatever. Probably just take Doom to center. We're looking for more cheap stuff anyway. I actually like the Desperate Farmer. Wedding Security is great in the right deck. Blood Tide the Harvester is nuts for vampires, but we'll take Doom to center for now. I don't really like Groom's Finery. Probably just take Scattered Thoughts. This card is just very good card advantage. Also fills your yard for you. Not irrelevant. I guess we could take Lantern Bearer. Not a bad card. Decent with exploit. Can attack, can block, can chump. Yeah, it's probably fine here. All right, well, Syncopate I actually like. Wretched Throng, not so much. Syncopate at least deals with uh, a lot of things. Not the, not the horror. Not the feel bad rare, but everything else. All right, gift of fangs number two. I'm all right with that. Creature count looking okay. Card advantage looking good. Win con, a little bit light, but doable. 
No blood tokens for Bloodseeker is going to be a problem. We, we probably really like the blood tokens if we could get them too. All right, Bloody Betrayal. Once again, we just don't have the exploit to support it, especially on the splash. So I guess we have to take Recluse, but Recluse isn't good either unless we find the, the blood tokens. Well, there's a chance to get some blood tokens, but I'd rather have Cruel Witness now, even though it's another yet another four drop. Boarded Window I've been meaning to try out. But Bloody Betrayal's upside is too high, um, potentially. Obviously not yet, but... Just cut Groom's Finery. I don't think we want it. Demonic Bargain. Uh, man, one less mana than Diabolic Tutor. Yet so much worse. All right. Parasitic Grasp is a great card. I haven't even gotten a chance to play with this yet, but I already know it's amazing. Played against it. Uh, bloody Betrayal. In exploit colors with no exploit. How sad is that? Lacerate Flesh. Playable Red Removal. Another Skywarp Scab would be good. Maybe we'll get the Scab back. Although, our upper end is looking pretty big. Well, Catilda would be nice, but that's not happening. We can take the Repository Scab. It's actually very good here because we have a lot of things to bring back, but... Uh, we might have enough cheap stuff to make it work. Gluttonous Guest would turn on our recluses, that's true. But with all this removal that we have, well, what do we have? Chill, double, bleed dry, syncopate, scattered thoughts, eh, whatever, I'll, I'll take it. Even though it's another four drop. Ooh, Diver Scab, that's a good one. More expensive things. All right. <laughs> it's just too good to pass. Undead Butler. There we go. That's some good sack fodder. Fills our yard. Great with exploit. Yep. That's what we're looking for. That's a ticket. Uh, catapult fodder. No, I think we probably just, just take all the bleed dries. Just play a million bleed dries. <laughs> Do we even have... How many... It's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, we have some, but certainly not enough. Man, all these recluses. Yet, no blood tokens. Do we have any other way to discard? I don't think so. Um, probably take the Evolving Wilds, a free card for the deck. Oh, Biolumag. This is a fantastic card. Makes me wish we had a lot more exploit than we do. All right, admittedly, we're a little top heavy. That's all right, we'll figure it out. Uh, another chill seems good. I think we have a decent zombie count now, too. Yeah, six. Chill's just good in here. Uh, none of this is good. Just all these bloody betrayals, but not enough. Like I said, we're somehow in exploit colors without actually having exploit. That's pretty unusual. And no ways to gain life. No, it's not true. We have the parasitic grasp. So we have we have one whole way to gain life. Bloody betrayals on the splash would at least turn on our recluses, but it's not worth it. Well, I mean, technically, yes, we could splash bloody but bloody betrayal. But it just it's gonna require so much mana in this deck to exploit, get value out of the exploit, especially with no ramp. It feels like it's gonna cost us like eight mana most of the time, seven mana at best. Which I feel like is just too much. So especially since we already have to make some cuts here. So we'll dump the bloody betrayal plan. I'm okay with that. Um 18 creatures. I think we're probably off racket recluse. I don't think we even ended up with any 
uh, I don't think we ended up with any ways to um, discard. It's too bad, too, because Recluse and Bloodseeker, they want to be in the same deck. But I think it's not going to happen. A lot of four drops, too, huh? Jeez. So if I cut these... I don't think we need the retrieval. Um, we don't probably don't have to run three lantern bears. They're more of sack fodder anyway. And we have a card draw in here. We have thirst and scattered thoughts. So that's pretty good. How many ways do we have to ex own cards in exile? Well, lantern bear does it. Somewhere, somehow. Uh, this does it, this exiles. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we have enough to make Monstrosity our win con, I guess. Scab does it. All right. Let's see. So 14 creatures, probably want to cut some non. I like all these zombies though, yeah. Chill's gonna be really good in here, I think. Thirst is definitely better than Scattered Thoughts. I could see maybe, especially since we're so four drop heavy, maybe just cutting the Scattered Thoughts. Then we only have six four drops, which is still a little bit, quite a few, but. Two Lantern Bears, too. I mean, I don't love Lantern Bear in here other than being Sack Fodder. I could see maybe just doing one. That does bring us to 13 creatures, but... Yeah, it's a little bit creature light. But we have this for card draw, this for card draw. It's tough. I don't want to run a Lantern Bear just to be an extra creature, either. I mean, it is cool that it can give flying and buff something. Hmm. Thirteen creatures, but this probably doubles the creature, I guess, because you draw three cards off of it. You only net two most of the time, but it's still good. Well, this might have to do. All right. Blue, black. Looks fine to me. All right. We'll run it like this. We'll see you round one. All right. Round one. We'll play first. Yeah, it's Great hand. Wait, do we have, yeah, we have double black. We don't have double blue, do we? I think we do actually, but I'm still just gonna get the second black based on our hand. I don't know how I would get the second blue based on this hand. You know, bolt it. Mm. Pretty good. It's like our only uh, exploit fodder card, too. Well, it's unfortunately for us, the last thing we wanted to see, because we have two gifted fangs in the stack. <laughs> well, they're play if they're playing red white, though, maybe they have some non vampires in there. Yeah, there you go. All right. There you go. Perfect.
Not the best use of mana, but at the same time, we can kill bigger things with our bleed dry, so bigger fish to fry. Shield basher, well, I guess we'll end up bleeding that dry. Kill the bigger dude for now. Well, I think we may have to just play the Gargantua and sack it. Do some damage prevention here. I guess technically we're keeping Syncopate up. Try and play a five drop here. Hmm, that worked out. Guess we just get the bleed dry. Thirst would probably be a little bit too greedy. I wish I could wish I could syncopate that. Am I supposed to be sandbagging lands? Can't think. Well, I can't uh, syncopate that either.
So that played around lacerate flesh, I guess. Could have syncopated that, but I don't think that's the thing I need to syncopate. I guess I syncopate that because otherwise they can attack and I'm forced to trade. Mm -mm. Lost some pretty good cards there. I think we still want to do it on their turn for the double tap. And we definitely want to need to tap the rallier cuz they can attack they can attack and untap with the rallier so this is more important. Uh, egg egg would have been valuable. I mean, it still kind of is, it's just, if I'd played it on my turn, I meant. Oh, that's pretty excellent. Scry two here. Oh, both of those are good. I killed a Vampire Slayer, so I guess I can keep both. And then we can Diver Scab, Sack the Egg. And we'll exploit the, I guess the guest is the biggest. All right. And this comes back when, I forget. Next end step, all right, let's get him for six. Oh, I guess I could have sacked the butler, but then I wouldn't have gotten a win con, so I don't know if that's actually better. Alright, let's do chill. Gift. And attack for six, and then next turn we can kill him with the serpent. Plus the gargantua. I guess if they have something here, they can get us. But I'm going to go for it. So stop after attackers. Wow. 
Talk about game theft. Well, thankfully, Gifted Fang still looks pretty good here. So he's got a few targets. Griff Rider. Got a mix of vampires in there, but still. Shield Basher's a pretty important one. Hmm. Yeah, those 2 1 first strikers are real good. Do I want bounce? Probably don't need it. I mean, it's okay against the arm, the Cathars, but. Uh, oh, Bloodseeker actually looks good, huh? Yeah. Can block, because they have multiple celebrants in there. Hmm. Is it better than Lantern Bearer? Well, it might be. One way to gain life in this deck. <laughs> Is that right? So I'm playing as a two mana one three. It's probably not worth it. Lantern Bearer at least came back and made my Gargantua win con. I guess it's probably worth it. Well, I think we better ball this one. This one will keep, and I guess we'll ditch uh, probably the monstrosity. <clears throat> it's too expensive. We need too many lands. Well, at least our opponent mauled too. That's nice. Uh, let's get our second black. This is double black too, so that makes sense. We have actually a lot of double black. Ooh, that was a good draw. Yeah, got a creature we can bring back out of it. It's not the worst. Sure. I guess Bleed Dry deals with more things, but makes better use of mana. I'll just grasp it. Oh, it's a human, too. That's cool. That, that actually is really nice. Kill that, plus I can do Doom to Center. All right. just take it out. I think I can chill for a turn here.
All right. So six whole mana. Let's chill the pummeler first. Oh, that's cool. Sensible. We got round one. We'll see for round two. Okay, round two. We'll keep get our black mana off of that. I like that cemetery gatekeeper card. It's cool. Spore crawler. Spore crawler is pretty good. I can bleed it dry, and they don't get to draw a card. But I don't know if I'm in love with that. Oh well, I'm gonna have to uh, bleed dry Helena, but. There's so many broken rares in this format. It's like, I don't even think it's going to be surprising when you see them anymore. You know what I mean? It's just, there's just so many. There's so many incredibly strong. Borderline, just mythic feeling. Normal rares that feel bad. So, it's going to be a tough grind, this format. I can, I can tell.
All right, that is GG's. <laughs> Helena, even when immediately removed, still, still winning the game. I guess the 6 4 at least becomes a 3 2. here. Yeah, I guess we could do retrieval. But I mean, if Helena's already, it gives haste to what were they thinking? This, just just be prepared for this format to be a bunch of me going, shaking my head and going, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? It's just going to be me doing that for like two months. Uh, Gift of Fangs is still... Yeah, well, actually, it doesn't deal with that. Huh. Doesn't deal with that. Maybe we don't want Gift of Fangs. Certainly doesn't deal with that. All right, maybe I'm off Gift of Fangs for this match and we can go more card advantage stuff. And a bounce. Bounce might be valuable. Scattered thoughts. All right, as if I didn't have enough four drops. Add some more. Well, I don't love this hand, but I suppose we'll keep. Am I the four? I mean, if there was any hand that a ball the four could beat, it'd probably be this one. Especially if I just rip lands. Can I beat Growling Infestation? I suppose I probably can. Or 
can, but don't know if I want to. Well, it's tough. Maybe I'll just let him resolve it. I mean, I feel like Sycopate's better served for threats I can't beat. Could be wrong. Oh, maybe I should have done that before. <laughs> That's all right. It's not a huge deal. Lost two ways to get their red mana. I guess that's good. Mmm, Grawl Knock. I'm gonna let them draw. This does let them get another blocker, but syncopate seems so much more important for things that I can't beat. Oh, they have syncopate of their own, huh? All right, all right. Wait, I have creatures in my yard, right? No, I don't. Well, I didn't want to draw three lands, so that actually worked out. Somehow they're not hitting on infestation. Also, why didn't they get a... Oh, it's during your turn. I see. Um, I'm going to see what they exile. This also makes our monstrosity unblockable, so that's cool with me. Hey, we beat the Molifor. Did you see that? You guys proud of me? Gift of Fangs, does it look any better? I don't think it does. Just kill Spore Crawler. It's not doing it for me. <laughs> it's not a compelling argument. Uh, I guess we do it like this again. They got some pretty awesome stuff in there. This'll do. 
get our second blue now with this hand. We can actually do the Lantern Bear turn one. wants to be more aggro or theirs does I'm not sure we have the exploit so I feel like we don't want to lose our lantern bear I don't want to attack into it either that was the problem A good draw. See if they exile from their own yard. That makes sense. Oh, they did land. Okay. That's probably smart thinking. So we're going to lose two here. I think we do the traveler. Attack with the lantern bear. I wasn't expecting that. They wanted to redraw it, huh? Okay. I'm alright with that. What are they going to exile now? My Geist or my Lantern Bear? Either one's fine. So we're not going to be playing... I mean, we don't even have any creatures right now, so... And if they play a creature, they... are in a little bit more trouble. That makes sense. No humans, though. Well, it's all man, so six mana. We can do the lantern bear, get in for seven. can also just leave this back yeah that's kind of fine although wait a second we can get in for seven and then I'm gonna do chill to the grave yeah I'm all right with getting in for seven I mean they have more 
They have more cards to be worried about, I think, than we do. And now, if they if they play a creature, they lose two life, so it's not going to help them. Can't even play a creature without dying, so. I guess that does bring us to five, huh? Hmm. missed. Wow. Got there. Let's see for round three. All right. Round three. We'll play first. Yeah, it's a keep. Good looking hand, actually. Counterspell. Pretty good beater. Unusually good. I mean, look how good commons have gotten. Three mana, three one, with attack. I mean, blue, blue primarily gets the worst creatures, right? So this is the color that gets the worst creatures. A three mana, three one. That when it attacks, weakens something, and then it comes back, and also weakens something. It's an enchantment. Um, I'm going to have my mana tied up for a little bit. I don't mind getting rid of a exploit fodder. Sure. I mean, comes back. Here's downfall's pretty big deal uh, card too. Let's do thirst here. Um. Will decline. And get rid of bearer and I guess monstrosity. I don't really want to, but. Yeah. That's all right. I can get rid of those lands. Now we have good exploit fodder of our own. Hopefully. So if they attack here, I'm thinking about taking it because it's probably worth it to play the Gargantua, sack the egg, get a 4-4, make them sack a dude rather than preventing three damage, walking into maybe like a Gift of Fangs or something like that. Oh, really? So now their max hand size is four for the rest of the game? Okay. All right. So be it.
Ah. So I guess we'll sack, I suppose, the serpent. doing it now so I can I mean I could attack and do the lantern bearer which helps win the race but now I don't have to worry about counter spells I guess and they don't get an exploit target which I think is relevant so all right Ah, okay. So they're going to get back their hero's downfall. Fair enough. Ooh, that was a good one. What creatures can I get rid of? I don't have any ways to get creatures back, do I? No, that's not true. The butler. I have the butler. So I can get rid of egg. And I'm thinking about binding guys because monstrosity might be a card I want to get back. Not sure yet. Maybe the Binding Geist I can get rid of, yeah. So we'll do the Egg and the Binding Geist. Because like I said, we have the Butler to get back the Monstrosity. Is that worth it? I feel like it kind of is, but I can use the Geist now if I get rid of the Monstrosity. That's true. And I can always get back Gargantua later. You know what? That's that's true. Let's not uh, let's not waste the resources we have here. So I'm going to grasp the scab so they lose out on exploit fodder again. Um, I mean, I can lantern bear. Does change the clock. Can't think of a reason to sandbag lands right now. There's got to be one, though. Oh, well, that's a good reason to sandbag lands. the gift of fangs so much in this matchup either. Hey, I'm glad I saved that uh, spectral binding. does make the gift a little bit better.
Hmm. I think we want to play some more card advantage stuff, though, too. But Cat Guys is kind of a big deal, actually. So... I suppose we attack. It gives them the ability to, you know, redo it, whatever. So be it. Also, they lose exploit fodder, though. Not irrelevant. Oh, no. That's fine. Oh. Looks like they're in the same boat we are with the... Oh, man. Talk about timely. Let's see. Uh, I can get Thirst back, though. Or do I just want the 3-3? Three, three? I mean, I don't want to run out of creatures, either. What am I, Let me look at my deck. What kind of creatures am I open to? I've got... Honestly, it's, it's probably worth it to just play this as a 3-3. Three, three. Let's be real. Oh, man, I would have been able to pay it had I played the land. they have more cards in their deck i feel like they've drawn more than we have i guess i did just mill myself for three so that might have contributed well i guess our gift of uh, whatever got a little bit better didn't it Jeez, do I even have enough creatures left? I'm not sure I do. I mean, I'm gonna need something. That's a creature. Ooh, that is too. There we go. Well, I don't want them to sacrifice that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well. Hmm. And sack the egg and get a 4-4, four, four, I guess. All right. This is not, uh, not ideal. 
but I guess that's how we'll do it. Like, I wish I could make it so they didn't have to sack, but so be it. Um. Gargantra is bigger, I guess. And I'm probably not exploiting anyway, so I guess that makes sense. Wow. Why would they sack that one? Maybe they didn't realize. They must have not have known they could sack the egg. Yeah, that was a mistake on their part. All right. So we outlasted them. That's a good sign. I think we want some more card advantage though. They've got uh, they've got some goodies in there though too. Multiply. I mean, repository scabs are great value in their deck. Save a lot of card draw. Yeah, the Dream Shackle Geist and the Cat Geist kind of makes it seem like we need the. The Gift of Fangs. Obviously, Syncopate is amazing here. Need the Bleed Dries. I think I could get away with cutting one Gift of Fangs, or would that be too greedy? We actually don't want a lot of spot removal because I feel like they can, even though we outlasted them here, I think a lot of the times they can outlast us. We are running pretty similar decks. Um, like, do I want just another, like, Lantern Bear, too? Just to, like, fly over top? Because they don't have much flying, do they? They really don't. But that's that's not a... It's not a great win condition. Thinking about cutting one gift for a scattered thoughts. It might be a little greedy, but they're not playing hardcore beatdown, so this kind of lets us, I don't know, get a little bit more card advantage. Gift of Fangs, just though it is valuable in some parts of this matchup, I just I don't know how I feel about it most of the time in this matchup. If they play the mischievous cat geist, it's obviously pretty essential there, but I don't know. It's a tough choice. All right. Well, the Scattered Thoughts could have been a gift. So if they play the Cat Geist, some karmic justice there. also not a human oh they had it oh well immediately not punished for making the wrong choice <laughs> uh oh yeah Well, that's what we wanted to do. All right. Guess we'll discard the monstrosity. So 
So we draw a black mana, we kill it. We draw that and discard, and they draw more cards. I think we can concede pretty safely. Alright, didn't even get the second black mana I needed for the grasp. Alright, did I bring the gift back? Uh, I guess so. Tough. Tough choice. All right, we'll play first. I guess the keep. I don't really love this hand, but it's got lands. All right. Doom to center. Well, you can grasp it, but it doesn't really do all that much for me. Maybe I wanted to leave up the... That's true. Hmm. I think it was worth it. Otherwise, there'd be too many creatures to deal with. It's a weird choice to keep that. Well, we know they have a lot of uh, exile cards. Oh, syncopate. That's a good one. I'm actually thinking about not playing the... Kind of okay with this board right now. Because if I play the monstrosity and they draw the land, then they can just kill our dude and get in there. So I'd rather at least be able to syncopate whatever they're going to cast. Be a little bit of a happier camper. So I've got seven mana. Yeah, I can still syncopate too. All right, sounds good. I don't know why they paid the full for the syncopate. 
That didn't make sense. Oh yeah. Get rid of that. I mean, I got a grip full of spells right now, so. I mean, if they do the neg 13, neg 13 thing, at least then our dreadlight monstrosity is unblockable at some point. And the word on this is huge right now when they're mana starved. That's like, I feel like. I think the worst choice they could have made. I mean, I'm thrilled they did it, but that was certainly the worst choice as far as what to exile. Because now they can't bleed dry it. It's got ward. We own a card in exile, so it's going to be unblockable. Wow. That was quite the draft. Got there. We even ended up beating Helena, the Helena the Unfair, so that's cool. Always happy to beat Unfair cards. That feels extra special. Let's do some back one pick ones. All right. Back one pick one. Well, easy attendant. This card is great. <laughs> hey, it's not broken. It's got, go it's got that going for it. But if that wasn't in here, probably a braid. Solid cheap removal. All right. Torrin's a great card. I would take that. And if that wasn't in here, probably... I like the Binding guys. I'd probably take that. Good blocker attacker. Change of Fortune is not a good card. I don't know why it's four mana. It seems very expensive. Uh, this pack is a little bit devoid of exciting stuff. Could take Runebound Wolf. Certainly not a broken card, but if you got a bunch of wolves, if you're playing Wolves and Werewolves, eventually it turns into something that can deal three to five damage, probably. So yeah, I'd take Runebound Wolf there, I guess. Dying to serve. This looks like a fun build around. Um, this is for the red black blood token deck, so yeah. I'd, I'd try and build around it. It looks fun enough to try and do that. Otherwise, Butler's great. I like the Spider. I like Weaver. Flesh is playable. I like Gargantua. But yeah, dying to serve. I'd like to see how that card plays. All right, Alchemist Gambit. Probably just take the Bleed Drag at the removal. Be happy enough. Oh, let's see. Yeah, we could go Hamlet Vanguard. Good with humans, and it is for non-token humans. Got to keep that in mind. But good with the werewolves, too, on the front side, because they are also humans. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Mirror Hall Mimic. I'd take this. This card's sweet. Then comes back and just... It's so dirty. Just lets you keep making copies. And if that wasn't in here, yeah, Quartermaster's a great card. Finisher that buffs two other dudes. I like that. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.